A 29-year-old man, uh, resident of Parago in the West Mampusi municipality of the Northeast region, is seeking public support to treat a childhood leg condition that has left him virtually crippled for 24 years now. On that 9th of June 22, 1994, when Sally was born here in a community of Parugu located east of Wale Wale, he was a complete human being, full of life and a promising, bouncing baby boy. His 61-year-old mother, Sugritia, remembers this day like it was yesterday. <laughs> No, I didn't face any difficulty during his birth. It was a smooth delivery. He wasn't born with this condition. He was a very handsome boy, and many people used to say he looked like an Akan. But look at him now. You know, the world is a strange place. As the fifth child, Sally's mother recounts how there was something special about his looks that made him stand out among his siblings. Sally's peace and parents were overjoyed to have him and love his smooth growth. However, in 1999, when Sally was only five years old, an incident occurred right here under this tree, which has since left him almost permanently deformed for the last 24 years. <laughs> He fell from a wooden bench as he was trying to run away from a bleating donkey. And we have done all we can and yet no changes. Sally's parents are poor and could not afford proper medical care for his condition and he was mostly always being treated by traditional herbalists until in 2021 when medical doctors diagnosed his condition as congenital genu vacuum also known as knock knees of both legs the doctors further stated that the condition requires a reconstruction surgery at a cost of 15,000 Ghana cities to correct the deformity sally's family is happy that his condition has been identified on the other hand they are sad that they are financially incapable to bear the cause for his treatment her mother therefore appeals for support for her son to undergo the surgery. I am deeply worried and have sleepless nights about his condition. I do not have the way without to treat him. I am pleading with people out there to support us to treat him. Sally, who is now 29 years old, a school dropout and jobless, said his condition has hindered his progress in life. We are poor family and we are lacking of money. So those things, if I had less, I would have do, know what to do so that I can proceed my education. But because of my life, I couldn't make it. He plays with benevolent individuals and groups to help get treatment for his condition. He said in the Quran, he said, if you give, if you give to somebody, you receive something from God. People look down upon me because of my leg. If you see me, you just say, some can say, no, you after you, you boy, you can't even do anything. But man is not God. Maybe it can time to come and my problem will be solved and I'll look like others. Inshallah. His teenage wife also begged for financial support for his treatment. I will continue to be with you and I feel that God will touch people's heart and they will come out and help me. Elias Sotanko from Parugu for Joy News. Let's go.